folks, and welcome to Bear Baiting Alaska. If you're uh, new to the channel, thanks for joining us today. And if you have already viewed the channel, thanks for coming back. So today we're going to set up a bear bait site uh, on Gravina Island in southeast Alaska in Game Management Unit 1A. Uh, the island is uh, approximately 95 square miles with 50 permanent residents. And from uh, what I'm told from Fish and Game, we are going to be the only bear baiters on the island. Um, and that stems from the fact that most people who hunt the island go by boat and take bears off the shore. So we're going to use the, the logging road system over there and cut into the center of the island and search around and see what we can find. You know, we've done our research. We've been on Onyx hunt maps to check for land ownership. So we're going to be hunting on state land. Uh, we've also double checked on uh, Google Maps and Google Earth. We picked out some locations. Then we went boots on the ground last week uh, and hit those locations to see what they look like in, uh, in reality, right? And uh, ruled out some and then we ended up registering two sites over there on the island and now we're going to go set up. So we're going to take our barrel, our food, our scents, our game cameras uh, and set up. We're not going to set up a blind right now because, again, new to the area, I don't know, you know, I don't know what's uh, in what areas at this time, and so we'll just bait, we'll leave it, and then if we have uh, any luck in another week, 10 days or so, then we'll, then we'll set up a blind. And uh, over there, most likely uh, a ground blind, but not, not necessarily. I'll have to see as we as we progress. So anyway, I'm going to save you the video of us getting in the truck, driving the road, getting on the ferry, crossing on the ferry, unloading off the ferry, and driving the road again. We'll save that for some travel channel, okay? We're going to start with uh, on location at our bear baiting site, and we'll walk you through and show you the terrain. Um, couldn't have any better weather in southeast Alaska. We've been here about a month and had about three weeks of solid rain. And so this is much appreciated. This is uh, going on six, seven days of blue, you know, blue sky, sunshine. It's about 45 degrees. So the conditions are perfect. Um, all we need is some bears. So we'll head on over to the island and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Hey folks, and welcome to Bear Baiting Alaska. Uh, if you haven't been with us before, thanks for joining us. And if you have, hey, thanks for coming back. So today we're on Gravina Island in Alaska. We're trying something new. We're in the far southeast in Unit 1A. Uh, I'm in the center of the island, uh, accessed by logging roads. If I seem sweaty and out of breath, it's because I just hauled all our baits and the barrel down to the site. And so, we're we're off this logging road you know i did my homework i looked at onyx maps for ownership of land google earth google maps uh and then i spent a weekend a couple weeks ago scouting the island for locations now i will tell you the location i was headed to today is not the location i have baited so uh we're headed in and for some reason this caught my eye and so I followed it down and realized it was a far superior site to the one that I had chosen. So we'll just call Fish and Game, relocate our bait site registration. Uh, you know, I didn't bait up, so I don't have anything to clean in the other location. And uh, we'll start from there. Today is the first week of the bear baiting season here in Alaska. And so I want to show you this trail because uh, uh, I'll show you why it was appealing to me as I, I just somehow took a hike. So hold on, let's... Let's walk down. Okay, so we're going to go down. And uh, the island is full of these trails, which initially I thought, oh, look at all the bear trails. But in fact, they're Sitka blacktail deer trails, which makes more sense um, on this island. And so I followed it down. There's a clear trail. Again, these are bear trails but i mean uh deer trails excuse me so but as i followed it down this 
through these woods. What really caught my eye, because I was just going to pop down a little bit and see, but what caught my eye is this area right here that seemed to be flattened out. And I was like, huh. So as I look closer on this area, I noted skunk cabbage. I don't know if this is gonna come out or not. Skunk cabbage eaten down to the roots. And then I walked a little further, more skunk cabbage down to the roots. And then it continued. More skunk cabbage eaten. So I decided to follow it even further. This trail. And by the way, a beautiful day in Southeast Alaska. We've had over a week of sunshine and blue sky. So that made up for the three weeks of torrential downpours that we had earlier. So, let's see. And this trail, which also is covered in deer scat, opened up to this small bog and then a creek. And as you can see, I put my barrel right in the center of this perfectly formed bog. And it's in a little hollow. I know you don't have smell smell of vision, but I just baited up and I doused the entire area in nasty boar from Vatum 907, and it is exceptionally uh, ripe this year. I don't know what Jess did to the recipe, but uh, my eyes are watering, and I'm quite a ways away. And so I've just I've I have sprayed all of the foliage, the trees. In this area, in this little bowl with Betum 907 nasty boar. I've got a couple bags of dog food. Five gallons of used fry oil. A little syrup and then some, uh, some ground cover. Uh, stripper glitter. <laughs> Uh, from Betum 907 and so yeah this place is ripe and so we'll see exactly what was going on as you can see it's it's a bog um, and then it goes down off and uh, and I've got my camera I cleared out a spot for the camera right here and uh, we're not going to do any blind at the moment until I I see what kind of interest this area gets uh, again new to southeast first time baiting in southeast and as uh, as Fish and Game has told me, I am the only one, as far as they know, registered on the island to bait. Uh, most bear hunters in this region hunt the beaches from boats. So we'll see. Uh, but uh, I'm excited about this spot. It's, I'm much more excited about this spot than my original spot. And so uh, I'm going to turn this off, sort things out. As you can see, I put branches in the barrel um that's just the right the low-tech way so as i'm coming down the hillside i can look at the barrel and notice immediately if it's been hit or not um you know i can go to the camera and see what's hit afterwards uh, but that's an initial indication if i come down in a week or so and notice it hasn't been moved you know i'm not going to spend too much time i'll move on so anyway i'm going to sign off and uh get things going here